Hi, I'm Lorna Campadonico, faux painter and decorative art artist, and we're going to do glazing painted techniques. Now, what you need for that is a bucket, a, a, a screen, a roller with a thin roller, and your glazing liquid. Now, the technique I'm going to do is a color wash. It's as if there's a thin transparency over the base coated wall. We're doing the same base coated wall today, and I'll show you. It's just using a white. You can use any color under a glaze, and that color will come out through the glaze because this is basically now paint that has been thinned out with an extender, which is the glaze, and water. So it's much thinner. So whatever you have painted on the wall can also come through as if it's two dimensional. Now first you put the glaze on and then you take, there are these brushes, they're called duster brushes, which are great. But we're gonna use one with a handle this morning and see how well that goes. And you wanna move the paint around. If you get a piece of lint or something on it, just brush it off. And you're just taking that paint so you don't see the roller marks and move it around very softly. And you can see how you're starting to see the white coming through. And then what you really want to do with this is you want to work it so you see no paint brush marks or tool marks as they call it. So you just kind of, as you keep working this, the tool marks or the paintbrush marks will disappear. And you have really pretty paint finish that people can't quite figure out. They know it's not straight paint, paint out of a can. There you go, and the further it dries, the more the paint marks will disappear. And that is how to glaze the wall. I'm Lorna Campadonico.